Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Leicester Vintage and Old Toy Shop. You weren't sure then? I wasn't. No, Leicester I Vintage. I wasn't sure where I was then. Uh, yeah. uh, it's our, our Bluebird Toy Special, people. Let's get it! <laughs> Bluebird Toys made some absolutely fantastic toys all the way from, was it, 1982? about 98 when yeah. Mattel took them over. And over an 18-year career, did they churn out some stuff. Oh, Everything yes. from preschool right through to the older child that yeah. would have such toy lines. And all of them have something in common. They were all inventive. Yes. And they were all tiny. Everything was tiny. Until the end, but we'll get to that we'll in a bit. We'll get to that, yeah. So, yeah, Polly Pocket... Mighty Max, some of the standouts, and Manta Force. Manta Force, and like, uh, so bitty. Yeah. <laughs> Man- so annoying. <laughs> somebody, somebody rings at the shop and says, uh, have you got Manta Force so and so? You go, yeah. And they go, is it complete? You go, oh, it's crap. Maybe. <laughs> I'll let you know in an hour when I've checked the yeah. box. It's like, but they're a brilliant They're fantastic. Line. They are absolutely amazing toys. We've not got the big white one, have we, amazingly? Oh, the Manta Force ship? Yeah. I think there is one somewhere. Yeah, somewhere it but is. It's, uh, it's, I think it's hidden around the back of there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's fallen down the back of the cabinets. But we have got some amazing stuff on display today. And there's loads of toy lines that they did. So we've got Polly Pocket, we've already mentioned. We've yeah. got all the spin-offs from that. So there was Disney ones, wasn't there? Disney ones, Marvel, Doctor yeah, Who. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. So, and then we have, obviously, the Mighty Max stuff. Now, these toys are fantastic. Because not only do they get... With each one, you seem to get... I mean, I'll open this one up and see what's in. That's I'm like, not a Mighty Max expert. Each one was a proper little playset. But this one, you've got a dinosaur, you've got a baddie, and you've got a Max. So you could have hours of fun, literally, for that one toy. And every Mighty Max toy, you always got some element of fun. You could play with it, you could... You could mostly find it up your mum's Hoover. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why it's hard to get complete Mighty yeah, Max. Yeah, we always find Mighty Max. tiny. Well, yeah. all, all Bluebird toys, tiny. It seemed to be. Yeah. It seemed to be that way. They were, they, were, they were really cleverly made, weren't they? Oh, and they yeah. borrowed other bits off of the toys. Yeah. Like on certain Mighty Max sets, you can see there's a Micro Machine Snow Speeder sort of yeah. in the top of one. And the other one's got a TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter yeah. lid, yeah. Yeah, so there's all sorts of bits. It's really, really cool. Um, they did do things like lunch boxes as well yeah. and other toys. I only found this out last yeah. night when I was doing my little bit of research. Yeah. This this particular one uh, used to belong to Harry Hill, apparently. Release the sausage, it's tea time! <laughs> so Harry, we've got your, uh, we've got your lunch box there. Um, he, he's not, he's let a bit dirty, he's, isn't he, Yeah, he's, uh, personal hygiene. He's a, he's a mucky yeah. pup. He was, he was. <laughs> he still is, I'd imagine. <laughs> no, he's a, he's a lovely man by the scene. Oh, yes, that's it. Uh, oh, he's had cheddar and something else in there <laughs> at some point. But they did all this cool stuff. And then you went from that and the and the Mighty Max, the Polly Pocket, which was the, equi- the girls' equivalent of the Mighty Max. Yeah. He's a fantastic toy line. In fact, oh, great. you know what? We'd love to show you more of uh, Bluebird toys. We can't because they shift, don't they? Yeah. We sell them. And we just can't keep them in. No. I mean, the ring box to collect all your little Polly Pocket yeah. rings. We've had these for ages. Yeah. But all the little class sets we get, gone. <laughs> Straight out, as soon as yeah. you get them. And the Disney one, boom, gone. Oh, the Disney ones Don't are about yeah, really, really good, yeah. aren't they? And they also did all the other toys. Like, like we haven't got any old penny. Oh, old, old penny. Oh, have we old not penny. got... We've not got any old penny. Oh, I thought we had an old penny. No, no, we haven't. Oh, no. We had a kitchen. Oh, that's when it got good. That's yeah, what we're yeah, missing. Yeah. Big yellow teapot. Behind the door of the big yellow teapot, there's a whole world of fun. And when the teapot family are at home, everyone stays in to play. There are two super rooms, both full of furniture. And at a twist of the lid, they turn right round. Sometimes people drop in for tea, or pop upstairs to play on the merry-go-round. The teacup car can go for a drive. Yes, he should alone. But he's home in time for tea. There's lots of fun for everyone. In the big yellow teapot. From Bluebird Toys. Everyone remembers that. It was about the adverts. It was yeah, all the yeah. adverts. Well, I didn't know. Alec- no, you didn't have a telly. No. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, a la carte kitchen. Everyone remembers the advert. Yeah. With a little girl doing the cold beans and the Swiss roll for her dad. I'm cooking something very special. A la carte. Where's the salt? Give that to stir. Check the oven. I'd better serve up now. He'll be coming round in a minute. Wake up, Daddy. Breakfast ready. <laughs> A la carte kitchen from Bluebird Toys. Wake up, Daddy. Breakfast ready. I don't remember that because <laughs> I didn't have a telly. Oh, okay. That's, for the that's video. it. But, yeah, but what everybody. I do remember 
was going through the adverts and seeing them, and and it was something where I wanted an a la carte kitchen. Yeah. I wanted all the big stuff they did. Oh, big! Yeah, everyone wanted the big yellow teapot because yeah. again on the adverts, but you wouldn't know. You drop the uh, drop the little man down the spout. Uh, <laughs> See, there was, there the was advertising so, was great for Bluebird toys, and there was so much to love about about yeah. the toy lines and, the, and and everybody's childhood. I think if you're of a certain age, everyone's childhood will have been influenced by at least one. Oh yeah, because of all of the, the preschool lines. stuff that they did as well. Yeah. Another one, Zero Hour. Oh yeah, you forget about Zero Hour, yeah. don't you? That was a really cool toy line. Mm. Um, in fact, we. There's a guy somewhere down south who's got... He's got loads, has not he? <laughs> he's got, like, a warehouse full of zero hour. And he said, do I want to buy it? And I was like, um, I tentatively, yes. It's like, kind of yes, but, but also... No! Yeah, because like, it'll sit forever. Suicidal business decision. There's not a lot of love for zero hour, even though it's great. Yeah. It's great toys. Yeah. It's, it's, a set, it's similar with Manta Force, and mm. it's, it's a sort of... It's not like a, a race out. And there's also no. what were those little gaming figures as well. Hero Gladiators. Hero Gladiators. Yeah. And they had weird, I don't know, they just, they were, I, I never got them, but I know that one of my friends mm. bought some uh, pre production prototype oh, stuff as nice. well. So that, yeah, was a, that was a little after our time, wasn't it? Well, there's still Bluebird designers around yeah. because it was 1980 onwards. Yeah. There's still a lot of Bluebird of designers. Of course. Yeah. So get in touch if you're watching the video. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we'd love to get some stories about Bluebird. But I think one of my. <laughs> Towards the end, they did a lot of stuff for other companies. The Captain Simon and the Space Monkeys were made from, by, for Mattel, ah. designed by Bluebird. And they were, like, I mean, when we said they did all small stuff, this was for Mattel, so it was, yeah, all, it was, it was like upscale. Sort of chunked it up. But yeah. they still had to do something different. And even though this was kind of the death knell, this was right yeah. at the end. This is like 96, 96 97. I think, yeah. And the TV show that followed it, mm. that was with it. Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. Um, because it had to be a TV show. So people don't generally remember Captain no. Simeon because it these wasn't. Were, these were designed by Bluebird, and you could make them like they were da they were in space. Yeah. So the the whole packet spins. That's cool. That's just a nice little design yeah. touch. That, they don't do stuff like that. They didn't that. have to do that, but they yeah. did. So they're really cool, really cool toy line, and you can buy like unused items, like sealed yeah. ships and stuff, for not a lot of money. I mean, it's, we've it's we've cool got a. Stuff. What's the, we got a big, got one, a big somewhere one somewhere, there, somewhere yeah. hidden, and you know it's not massive money for a sealed, no. you know what is now quite yeah, an old to be item. Fair, most Bluebird toys they're not mega pricey, are they? You could have a no. nice collection, no, for not too much money. Yeah, you can, you can. It's finding the bits, isn't it? Yeah, it's always the battle. If you get like like the mighty the card in Mighty Max is. They're yeah. not mega money, are they? The thing I really liked about this range was the, the big ape that came out. It's called Gormungus. Oh, yeah. I've only ever had him once. Oh, it's great. But he's really cool. Yeah. He's like, he, yeah, he's, he's... But I, that's the thing, like, you know, you think about all the toy lines mm. that I love. It's always the big apes that it I just is, think yeah. are amazing. So that's you something else. empathising with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the big hairy beast that I am. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I think out of all of them, though, I kind of... These mean a lot. I will always have a lot of love for these mm -hmm. because I think they're a bit... Unloved, yes. and I think I think they're really cool. Um, but I think Mighty Max. The hand. Fingers become monsters and spit you into open graves. Slam the coffin on dead Fred. Watch out, Max. The hand. I think that's the standout. Isn't that's it? the standout for a, me. Aside from a la carte kitchen. Wake up, Daddy. Breakfast ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a big yellow teapot. A big yellow teapot. Yeah. You what can't, you, like, we had a big yellow teapot in, didn't we? Yeah. Literally everyone who walked through the yeah. door. Ah, I had that. I, I had, had that. that. Yeah. I had that. It, to, to such an extent, you actually did your head in after a while. Yeah. But there we go. Time to shift that teapot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gone. Right. Thanks very much. That was our Bluebird toy special. Uh, let us know in the comments below what was your favourite Bluebird toy, what memories you had of playing with them, and, uh, yeah. Just get in touch. Yeah. Did you make your dad a Swiss roll and cold bean breakfast? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. Because you didn't know what it was? Didn't know what it was. Well, I did know what it was from the catalogues. And they were always featured big, weren't they, at the bottom of the, oh, bottom yeah. the corner? Always, it seemed to yeah. me, I've got a very... And that girl who looked a little bit like the girl from the BBC Two. So all, all little girls looked like that back then, though. They did. It could have been any little girl. In fact, it could have been just one of my relatives. But there we go. We'll see you next time, folks. Hold on, don't stop. Don't oh, forget to subscribe yeah. and like and do all them things. See, I started Click that stuff. Bit. I started that bit, didn't I? Yeah, and probably. I to do it. That's how it happens, though. We just ramble on and... We're professional here at Leicester Vintage. <laughs> and I think we'll stay that same because I quite like it. Yeah. See good. you next time.
Goodbye.